Hi everyone. So this is the KX2 and what I want to do is to demonstrate how to configure the rig for digital mode. Okay, first thing you want to do is unplug anything on uh, the rig. Best practice. Next thing, go to the mic button, press and hold and lower it down to zero watts. That's good practice as well. Okay. And then get off there. Go to the menu over here, which is button number eight, D-I-S-P, press and hold. Uh, when you press and hold a button, it goes to the yellow um, item, in this case menu. You can see the menu item here. The OFS uh, dial will take you to different menu items. So let's do the first one, which is uh, AF uh, Lim. So before we do this, it's good practice to write down all the settings that you have uh, before you go into, you know, configuring the radio for digital mode, just in case if something goes wrong, you don't like digital mode, or, you know, you want to go back to the original settings, you'll have everything written down. Okay, so here um, we just moved the OFS dial to give me the menu AF LIM. Right now it's at 30. I'm going to use the VFO dial. I'm going to lower it down to 15 because I don't want to crank the AF too much um, when I do digital mode. Okay, next thing I want to use the um, OFS dial here to go into AGC MD. I'm going to Make sure it's off, and it is right now off. So make sure that that item is off. Then mic bias. Let's go to mic bias. Some people say that needs to be off, so we use the VFO dial for off. Make sure that um, you don't go past the setting that you need. I'll, it's happened to me a few times where I'll just scroll and be like, oh, it's off, but somehow I'm not really paying attention and it's really on. So just make sure you have moved the dial properly. So we have it off and then the RF gain, we're going to put that to zero. And we're going to go with the baud settings or the baud rate, we're going to go to 38,400. Okay, and again, a good idea to look at all your settings. Make sure you did this right, because you could make a mistake. AF limb should be at 15, okay. AGC MD is off, okay. The Mic bias off, excellent. RF gain to zero, good. And then the baud rate, 38,400, excellent. Now press the DISP button, get off those menus. Now let's deal with some other settings. Uh, the noise blanketer, as you can see, it's on. Make sure it's off, so you press the AF dial here, press and hold, and it goes away. The noise reduction is automatically off because you turned off the AGC, and if you want to try it, press the PRE button, press and hold, and it tells you that it's not on. So that's taken care of. The preamp. The preamp right now is in attenuation, so press the preamp once. Takes you to pre, don't want that. Okay, now you're going to turn it off. So that's off, that's important. Now, let's look at the putting, putting the rig into data mode. If you click on the mode here, you can see that there is no data. There's USB, CW, and AM. So what you need to do is you need to press the data button first. And then we need to know if we're right, if we're in the correct data mode. 
you click on data one more time, it gives you, in this case, PSK, but we don't want that. We want data A. Okay, so data A is perfect, and you click on data again. That's the mode we want if we want to use something like JSA call or something, or WSJTX, all right? So if you press mode, you're not going to be in data uh, mode anymore. And again, you don't see data here. You got to press data. And now we're in there. And to make double sure that we are in data A, yes, we are. We just press data button one more time. Okay, so we're in the proper mode. Now we need the ALC meter. It's very important to have that meter uh, to determine how much is going out. So to do that, we uh, look at the mic button here. You press on it, just press on it, and it gives you the ALC. You press it again, it gives you SWRRF values here. So this is going to be important to keep it in ALC mode. Okay, then mic gain uh, should be uh, lowered. Usually when, you, when I do phone, I put it in the 30s. But we need to lower this down to about 14 or something. And then you can adjust that. The mic gain, that will control the ALC meter. Um, some people say that when you're, when you're transmitting, you're supposed to have a few bars in the ALC to make sure things are working properly. Some people say no, it needs to be barely on the ALC meter. You're going to have to really... Um, figure that out on your own. For me, I like to keep it up about two or three lines above um, right here, right around there, right? Two to three uh, lines. Okay. All right. Then something that you need to do also is the fill. If you click on fill once, you need to adjust the width to about four, well actually four, you gotta make it wide all the way. And then also the center needs to be at 1.5 using the mic dial. Now there is something that I have seen before. Sometimes when you do this, you set this up, you put it on your computer. It looks like it's not spread out. The data doesn't seem to be spread out all the way when you're looking at uh, something like WSJTX or FTH, right? And sometimes you have to do this again. You have to click on the fill and then just redo it. That's a tip that uh, might help you out. Okay, and then we're almost done. We would turn it off, plug in all the items that you need, and when you turn it on again, make sure that uh, you click and hold on the mic button and then put five watts. Uh, don't put it any more higher than that uh, because what happens, and then you click on this, what happens, the, the, the rig, the radio, gets pretty hot when you use it a lot. Uh, you can click on display and then use the OFS uh, dial here to give you the temperature. Right now it's doing pretty good. I have this heat sink here that you can buy separately to help you dissipate that heat. But you'll, note, you'll notice that when you use it, uh, when you're transmitting a lot, it does get warm. And then after you hook it all up, you are ready to go on this side. Uh, just keep in mind that the um, AF dial here, when you move the value here, that's going to help you control the receiving um, uh, signal to the computer. Right, the higher this is, the higher 
your signal that's coming in and you don't want it that high so you can control it that way and the mic here this is to send out the signal so that's kind of important these two you kind of adjust and you uh, try to figure it out as you go i do have another movie that's that's uh coming up that i will hook up the um the raspberry pi to show you uh, some best practices on that so if you uh did enjoy this video or it was very helpful please consider subscribing please uh, give me a thumbs up and i hope you have a great day and be safe out there thank you very much this is frank kn6 bst